so sometimes uh, what happens in t20 cricket is we tend to blow up uh, images and uh, stats and numbers of bowlers who get the wickets and the purple cap even likewise at the orange cap and sometimes i feel it is a little too overrated in a game like t20 because it is somewhat like your football where uh, people are playing their roles and one such player is akshar right he's he always goes under the radar because he bowls those good overs uh, builds the pressure up for someone to get someone else to capitalize on the wicket so uh, these are heroes that get really appreciated inside the dressing room for us in delhi capitals and ricky is very particular on that and uh, we stick to the roles and when you get appreciated people want to hold on to their roles what are your thoughts on keeping the momentum going what are the things that this is doing right uh no, i think we've got uh, we've got a pretty good side and everybody is putting their hand up and uh, i thought initially we were a bit uh, rusty getting into the tournament and even for me it's been like five games for me to get my first four overs out it's been a quite an interesting year uh, came really charged up and wanted to do i mean got off to a splendid start and then i just bowled four overs for the first time today so interesting everybody's uh, chipping in and i still think uh, the biggest positive is a lot of room for improvement is still there so i think we will get there at the back end of the tournament Amit Mishra has enjoyed any out of the tournament. How has uh, the, the, the coaching staff changed the plans for the bowling unit going forward? Look, that's that's one of the beauty of this particular Delhi Capital side, I think, because uh, even when I my shoulder dislocated, Amit came in and played the role, and now he is injured. Akshar has come in and played the role, so there is enough strength in that bench. And sometimes when it comes to the IPL, the bench people coming off that bench become very very important, and uh, that bench is probably good enough to be another IPL team as well. It's got that sort of a quality. So um, I would think Amit will be dearly missed in this team. He's a legend in the IPL. So uh, moving forward, I think uh, we will definitely try our best to keep uh, Amit happy at home. Moving a little bit to the batting uh, unit, Prithvi Shaw, another really good day in the field. What are the changes he has made to adapt himself better in this in these conditions and in this IPL? Look, Prithvi is a phenomenal talent, and uh, I don't think we need to be talking too much about techniques of batsmen here because sometimes uh, technique of batsmen is just overrated. I feel uh, everybody has got a unique technique, and Prithvi hits the ball when when Prithvi hits the ball, the ball makes a lovely sound of the bat, and he's a really really special talent. Uh, he can just it just depends on which side of the bed he wakes up and how well he plays. He's been hitting the ball beautifully in the last couple of games, and I am looking forward to better things from him as the tournament goes on. Question, last question, Marcus Stoinis. Wonderful, he has been for you guys. A couple of games in Dubai, he's he's been brilliant. Prithvi again uh, with a strike rate of about two hundred. What has he been doing in practice? What has he been eating? Uh, look, I think uh, he's become extremely strong. That's first thing uh, as far as Marcus goes, and uh, he's been playing the IPL for different teams over the last couple of seasons, and uh, he's obviously improved over the last two years. And finally, uh, a really, really uh, excellent Stoinis has reached Delhi Capitals, and that's what I must say. Uh, the team environment has been great for him to go out there and express himself. And uh, Stoin has been phenomenal. And Dubai being our home ground, we play seven games here, and uh, Stoin has been amazing in the last two games that we played at Dubai. So I look forward to keeping my fingers crossed for him.